in front of the camera, please state your name. My name is. And Anthony. you could you, sorry, could you state your name and where you work? My name is Anton, and I work for Innovation First. Could you speak up? For the my name is Anton, and I work for Innovation First. He works for Innovation First. Is this true that you work in robotics? Yes, it is. In general, where does the technology, the inspiration for your robots come from? We generate that here. It's our own intellectual property. Are you inspired by any other, say, any other forces? No, we're not. How long have you been working in IFI? Almost two years. So you were here when the Stephenville sightings took place, is that correct? I guess so. No, so. Well, I don't know anything you know about so. the Stephenville sightings. Well, you do. I don't. Do you feel like your life is threatened? No, I do not. Do, do, do people talk about me at IFI? Uh, I don't believe so. They haven't mentioned me? I've never heard your name because before. Because I, I, call, I call a lot, no one will call me back, I don't even know. Maybe. Do you have a card or a phone number that I can get from you? Not with me right now. What I would like to ask you is why you have come forward now. What has forced you to finally come out into the open and reveal the secrets of IFI? Well, I have not come forward. You have come forward now. I'm simply talking to you. And who told you, who asked you to talk to me? You did. Are you aware of IFI having any government contracts? No. Have you ever yourself personally uh, experienced a, uh, a, a close encounter of the third kind? No, I have not. Uh, have you ever um, uh, had your aura checked and been told that your aura is blue? No. Uh, have you ever practiced or been to a remote viewing convention and or seminar? No. I really need to go. I've got a movie. I, I have three, to just three more questions. Uh, I really have to go. Thank you for your time. We're looking out for you. People like us have to stand up for people like him. It's that simple. I don't think he had to return a movie. I think he downloads them illegally to tell you the truth.